Hi, my name is Christoph and welcome to the Quixotry Workshop. This week we're going to start with the uh, fabrication of the main frame of the printing press. Just to recap, last week, the previous video, I showed you the basics uh, of, of how a uh, etching press works and I went over all the parts that I have. So <clears throat> I just want to talk a little bit about my motivation behind this project. Firstly, I'm I'm also an artist and I love printmaking. So the first thing is I've uh, always wanted an etching press and when I studied we, we did a, a course uh, as part of my studies and I really enjoyed it. But it was always just out of my reach, it's expensive to buy, just to experiment with. So when the opportunity came up, uh, someone asked me to build one for them. I thought um, in the process um, I can might as well just buy more materials and build more than one press. Firstly is I wanted one and secondly is because I can. I can make this and um, I thought to share this process so that maybe one day, if, if you are in the mood to tackle and you, you've got the capabilities or you know someone that, that has um, the capabilities of making the press like this, I'm very excited uh, of having the prospect to just experiment with different types of things. And then also, um, my wife, she, she loves paper and I'm sure she's also going to experiment with this and uh, we like to make cards and t-shirts and all kinds of things and I'm going to start now with the welding of putting, putting these uh, laser cut parts together and I hope you enjoy it. So everything um, is laser cut to fit together like this um, but I realized I don't want to weld this frame together because the roller must still come in here. Uh, I don't want to cut uh, and, and weaken the, the structure here because that's the only other way is if there's a slot here so that you can get that roller in. Um, so I'll have to fabricate a couple of brackets. Um, the idea is to, to do a corner bracket like this, where that sits there in the corner and uh, it's welded to the one side. And then uh, the other piece, um, there's another uh, thing welded to this side so that it forms a bracket like that. So those two parts gets welded together and um, that whole uh, part like that gets welded in here and then it gets bolted to the one side um, through that hole there. Uh, and then the other side, the bottom here, I'll, I'll make a bracket fit over there and it will look something like that.
I have the four brackets welded and grinded and I have four of these that's gonna fit right there and the hole corresponds with that hole um, but what I want to do is I'm gonna change the drawings um, for the for the production of, of these for the, the plans I'm gonna make available so that you don't have to well this is gonna just be a, a part that bends in, into that position So we came to the end of the second video. The frame is done. Uh, it's it's all bolted together, and there's braces braces in. I've measured across from corner to corner to make sure it's square. It's exactly one meter, one hundred and sixty-four millimeters from the corner to the corner on both sides. And I've put these these brackets in to keep it uh, square. Next week. I'll do the legs, the wooden legs, so this can stand on its own. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit that thumbs up and I'll see you next week. Thank you.